while Amraphiel was king of Shinar, Elasher's king Ariash, Elam's king Kedorlomer, and Goyim's king Tidal declared war on Sodom's king Baruch Amor's king Birsha, and Ms. king Shinab Zeboyim's king Shember, and the king of Bela that is Zor. These latter kings formed an alliance in the Siddim Valley, that is, the Dead Sea. For twelve years they had served Kedorlomer, and in the thirteenth year they revolted. In the fourteenth year Kedorlomer and the kings of his alliance came and attacked the Rephaim in Ashtaroth Karnam, the Zuzim in Ham, the Amim in Shave Kiriahum, and the Harites in the mountains of Seir as far as El Paran near the desert. Then they turned back, came to En Mishpat that is, Cage, and attacked the territory of the Amalkites as well as the Amorites who lived in Hazazan Tamar. Then the kings of Sodom, Gomorrah, Edma, Zeboyim, and Burah that is, Zor took up battle positions in the Siddim Valley against King Kedorlomer of Elam, King Tidal of Goyim, King Amraphiel of Shinar, and King Ariash of Elassar, four kings against five. Now the Siddim Valley was filled with tar pits. When the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah retreated, they fell into them, and the rest fled to the mountains. They took everything from Sodom and Gomorrah, including its food supplies, and left. They also took Lot. Abram's nephew who lived in Sodom, and everything he owned, and took off. When a survivor arrived, he told Abram the Hebrew, who lived near the oaks of the Amorite Mamre, who was the brother of Ishkol and Anner, Abram's treaty partners. When Abram heard that his relative had been captured, he took all of the loyal men born in his household, 318, and went after them as far as Dan during the night. He and his servants divided themselves up against them, attacked and chased them to Hobah north of Damascus. He brought back all of the looted property together with his relative Lot and Lot's property, wives and people. After Abram returned from his attack on Kedorlomer and the kings who were with him, the king of Sodom came out to the Shave Valley that is, the king's valley to meet him. Now Melchized the king of Salem and the priest of El Elyon had brought bread and wine and he blessed him, bless Abram by El Elyon, creator of heaven and earth, bless El Elyon, who gave you the victory over your enemies. Abram gave Melchized one-tenth of everything. But Abram said to the king of Sodom, I promised the Lord El Elyon, creator of heaven and earth, that I wouldn't take even a thread or a sandal strap from anything that was yours so that you couldn't say, I'm the one who made Abram rich. The only exception is that the young men may keep whatever they have taken to eat, and the men who went with me Anner, Ishkol, and Mamre may keep their share. Genesis 14 1-20, 22-24